I'm doing an absorbency test on the U by Kotex. Oh, you can U by Kotex barely there pay wire. And I use these a lot. This is what it looks like. Um, and when they say barely there, like literally, there's hardly anything. So, just going to stick this down here, and I have a little syringe here, and we're going to start with 10 milliliters. Now, that's a lot for a pain liner, so let's just see. Now, you can use these on a day you're really light, or, um on a day where you're wearing a tampon and you need extra backup coverage. Um, I'm really shaky, sorry. Now of course you probably won't get this much on it, but one time it was a lot. Um, it's starting to turn very, very blue, just normal. But, okay, so, obviously, since it's a pain liner, it's not going to hold that much, but, um, that's actually really surprising that it actually held that much, and that's quite a lot. I mean, look at that. That's quite a lot. Obviously, it's wet to the touch, but that excess did, you know absorb. So I'm very impressed by these uh, 10 milliliters. So that's a lot. Ooh, I dropped it. <laughs> okay. But it didn't even leak. And so that I hope kind of reassures you, I guess a little bit you could say, that these will work. Um, just it's starting to almost dry a little bit. You know, if you were to give this a minute, they say it probably would dry a little bit more. Um, but if you squish it, it all like separates. Um, but yep, that's what happened. Um, there are like little holes in this. I don't know why. Just thought I'd tell you that. Um, and they're kind of different from other pain liners, but, yeah, um, I'm sorry I didn't upload any videos for a long time, uh, but Christmas time tis the season, and maybe I'll be able to start doing that, um, but, I just wrapped it up, but remember, if you want, this is a good brand, but, I tried a pad one time, and I just didn't quite like it, maybe, it was a reason. I don't know. But, yeah. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow? Maybe? I don't know. Bye.